Hi there. The beginning of this uh, canvas started as completely gray, so I rounded out an area there and made the moon. Uh, still have lots to do on that yet, but then I started adding a lot of fluid paint, so I decided to make the video. So here is a lot of uh, very thin, fluid, runny paint that I was just playing around with. Uh, and then here is... After the initial bit dried, I decided I would add more to the foreground and in a drip sort of fashion as well. Uh, and I'm just adding a bunch of blues and white and just a touch of gold in there, some turquoises. Um, so I'll just let you watch because all I'm doing is the bottom half of this painting at this point. And I just add in some colors and let it drip down and sort of make that glacier snowy kind of look. Um, I don't think there's anything else to tell you about for this part, so I'll just let you watch. That's high flow golden acrylics, and I'm uh, a lot of the initial first part, um, the very first layer of the blues that you see were uh, high flow and a lot of water, so uh, it makes a lot of fractals, uh, dendrites, whatever some people want to call them. Um, but I like I like the look and I like how it spreads out. So uh, I'm dropping in a little bit of high flow paint into the really thin uh, white that I've mixed up and uh, I just keep adding colors in various spots to sort of get some mixture and marbling effect kind of going on and I just keep working it until I finally get to where I have it all covered up and, and have lots of um, different tones and shades going on within all the blues and white. Anyway, again, I'll just let you watch.
Uh, so I'm trying to cut out most of the tilting because you can't see anything that's going on. But I obviously I'm tilting so it runs off at the bottom. Um, and uh, this is the only place I can put the camera, so it's the best I can do. I uh, hope you get something out of the videos that I post, even though I have to post at this angle and um, trying my best anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to cut out parts that you can't see very well and just sort of drag on like it is right now. So onward. Here's where I'm going to leave it to dry for this time around. Uh, I'll be working on the moon a lot more yet and that upper big chunk of blue on the very first layer, I'll be working on that. And uh, really not positive what else I'm going to do yet. Uh, but here's where I'm leaving it for now and uh, I guess you'll see what I do next to it. Thanks for watching so far. Well, here is where I continued. I have added a lot of um, fluid paint in white and some blue. Did a little bit of palette knife swiping. And the moon I've been working on and adding some trees here. Um, I was uh, recording some of this and 
uh, I think the battery died or my memory was full or something, so it, it stopped recording. Anyway, uh, that moon there has uh, a lot of um, interference blue, so it sort of shines in certain lighting. And you can see that I did lots of um, pouring um, in the foreground there, lots of white sort of accent added. There is some gold in there. Um, and then I did a lot of hand painting with my brushes um, just to sort of accentuate some of the color here and there. But essentially this is done. And uh, the final pictures are coming up here pretty soon. And uh, I'll just let you watch to the to the end, um, I took some final pictures outside. Uh, it wasn't sunny out, so not seeing the interference blue very well outside, but um, it's there. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And you might try some of this yourself. I did a lot of sponge work in the black, so and a lot of um, spraying. Um, with some water and then I just sort of remove it to get that speckle effect that I seem to like and uh, I don't think there's anything else much to tell you that I've done to this so um, other than just hand painting on some um, sort, sort of staining glazing if you will some of the extra colors in the foreground there and here we are we're done um, did my best on making sure the moon was as round as I could get it. It's hard when you start working on the edges to, to not take away from the round. And, um, had a bit of messing around to do with that, to, to keep it rounded. Um, but I'm going to leave it where it is, and she's a done deal. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll just let you watch to the end now. It's almost over.